I'm Doris and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing great. As you guys can probably tell from the title of this video already, I'll be doing a video on 18 things I've learned by 18. Well, previously I did another video, but I thought that video wasn't that great in terms of quality and content, so I thought it would be most appropriate for me to refilm and re-upload another video for you guys. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So the first lesson I've learned in life is that you can't please everyone and not everyone is going to like you, but that's okay. Because in the end, you know, people are going to judge us anyways for the things that we do or don't do. So we might as well do whatever we want as long as we're being kind, caring, respectful towards others. Others' opinions of you should not matter. So the second thing I've learned is that your parents, especially your mom, know more than you think they do because they have gone through the things that you are probably going through at the moment, so you should definitely listen to their advice. So the third thing I've learned is that everything on this earth is temporary. So if you're having a great time, that's good, you know, enjoy it, you know, because it won't last forever and I know it sounds really depressing, but it's true. And if you're having a bad time, chill, relax, it's okay, that won't last forever. So the fourth thing I've learned is that your friends will surprise you. The friends who you think are going to stick by you when times are hard or when things are not looking great for you won't necessarily be there for you. Whereas the friends who you have never imagined or the people who you have never imagined to become such close friends with will come into your life and stay by you. So number five, I've learned that I'm an ambivert. So an ambivert is basically someone who is an extrovert and also an introvert. So number six, I've learned that traveling tells you a lot about a person. So before you consider moving in with your best friend or your boyfriend, I suggest that you guys should go traveling together first. Number seven, and this is super important to remember, is that you should never ever ever make a decision when you're angry and never ever make a promise when you're happy because in the end you're just gonna regret it. Number eight, I've learned not to procrastinate. Whether you're in high school or in college or working now, you should never ever procrastinate because in the end you will regret not revising for the exam beforehand or not finishing that assignment that's set before the deadline. Number nine, I've learned that time does heal everything. Whether it's heartbreaks or failed friendships, time heals everything. The things that matter to you now won't probably matter to you in a year's time. And in Adele's song, she said, they said that time's supposed to heal ya, but ain't done much healing is not true. So I promise you that time heals almost everything. Number 10, I've learned to smile more even though it may give me wrinkles because uh, I think a few days ago I saw this talk by Amy Cuddy on the TED Talk and she said that your emotions alter your body language but also your body language can also change your emotions. So I think by smiling you actually become a lot more happier um, emotionally and I think smiling also makes you seem more approachable and happier. So you should smile more. Number 11, I've learned to love myself more each day and to appreciate and be grateful for the things that I have in life and not to take anything for granted. So number 12, I've learned to spend money on things that actually matter. What I mean by things that actually matter are things like traveling because when you travel, it kind of opens up your horizons and you learn new things and new cultures and you see the world in a different perspective. Whereas if you spend money on like luxury items like a Prada bag or a Chanel bag or this and that, when you pass away in the future, you're not gonna take that you're not gonna take those with you and you might as well spend the money on things that you can learn from and things that actually help you to grow as a person. Number 13, I've learned that if you don't click with someone, you just don't click with someone. There's nothing you can do. If people are meant to be in your life, they will come into your life and they will stay. If people aren't meant to be in your life, they won't be in your life. But there's nothing you can do. Because sometimes we don't have to have a plan. We just have to relax and let life happen to us. Because whether you are religious or not, I believe that God has a plan for all of us. 
Number 14, I've learned that clubbing is not as fun when you are legal because I remember prior turning 18, I literally thought clubbing was so cool. I got into the club with my friend's ID. Wow, it's so fun. But now I'm actually 18 and when I get to the club, the bouncer's like, ID please and I actually give them my legit ID and the bouncer is like okay you can go in you know it just does not feel as exciting and adventurous as it used to be um, if you guys do feel the same then feel free to leave a comment on the section down below oh and it's raining now damn the weather man number 15 I've learned to stop overthinking turning things into problems that aren't even meant to be there in the first place because overthinking just kills your happiness and makes you really anxious and it is really unhealthy for you sometimes you just gotta relax and just stop overthinking everything Number 16, I've learned that not having your phone around you actually makes you really happy because then you are actually so focused and enjoying the present moment and actually living in the present moment without all those distractions and all those WhatsApp and Instagram notifications. So number 17, I've learned that it is okay it is okay to cut off and stay away from negative people because let me tell you this it is so much better to be alone than to be surrounded by shitty negative people because if you think about it life is too short for you to hang around negative energy all the time you gotta be with people who love you who support you who want to see you do well in life who just love you unconditionally and people who are better than you that is the most important thing you should surround yourself with people who you look up to your role models people who are positive so lastly number 18 I have learned that I still have got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of things to learn in life um, and so hopefully maybe when I turn 21 or 23 or 25 or something like that I might film another video of the things I've learned more of the things I have learned and you know share them with you guys so anyways I hope you guys did like this video if you guys did like this video then remember to give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching my video love you guys Mwah.